We recently had a strong magnitude 6.2 earthquake and earthquake swarm at the Mendocino fracture zone of uh, the Gorda escarpment. And this is the map that you can see right there, that Mendocino fracture zone right at the bottom uh, around the seven o'clock position. And all these red triangles, of course, are the high threat volcanoes of the West Coast. Mount Baker, Glacier Peak, Mount Rainier, Mount St. Helens, and uh, all those there. Uh, of course, uh, we even had a uh, Long Valley Caldera shaken. We're going to take a look at the maps. And uh, this is an area that has recently been shaking quite strongly. And the biggest earthquake happened two days ago on the 20th, 6.2 at a depth of 14.8 kilometers. It's about seven or eight miles down. Let's take a look at the maps. And uh, we know that uh, thousands of people have reported this shaking. Over 4,360 people have reported the uh, shaking, experiencing the shaking to USGS. And here we are. This is the magnitude 6.2. And uh, it's at the, of course, let's go back. Okay, this is the Mendocino fracture zone right there, of the Gorda escarpment, right there. And you can see the tremendous amount of earthquakes. Uh, last week we had fra fr Blanco fractures on earthquakes right here, and now we have all this going on. Eureka, and let's go to the maps. Over 4,362 reported feeling it. Uh, ground failure, little or no affected area, little or no population exposed. And let's go to the shake maps. This is it right here. Uh, going back to the area of Long Valley Caldera, you see that thing right there? That's Mono Lake of Long Valley Caldera right there. That's Mono Lake. And uh, all of the... Uh, kindly support my... Patreon accounts, the daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. Okay, this is on the, these are the, the, the fault lines. This is uh, the San Andreas fault line, as we can see. This is the garlic fault and the Walker Lane fault system that has all the high threat volcanoes of the west coast and you can see this has shaken most of the area okay California Oregon up to Portland definitely okay this is Vancouver Island right there if you extend the frequencies all of this must have been shaken um, Petrolia, this is another one. This is a, a smaller earthquake that we had uh, as well. Let's go to our Cascade Volcanoes. As you can see, this is the Mendocino Fracture Zone. Let's make it a little bit bigger. This is where we had our earthquake swarm right there. Lassen Peak, Mount Shasta, Medicine Lake Volcano, Crater Lake, Newbury Volcano. All these have been shaken. Three Sisters, Mount Jefferson, Mount Hood, Mount St. Helens, Mount Adams, Mount Rainier. Let's go to our PNSN to find out the earthquakes there, what's happening there. Get rid of this for a minute. Okay. Come on out. Okay. This is our area right here. This is what we had last week, and this is our area right here. That's a 6.2. Nine miles down. Okay. These are other smaller earthquakes. 6.2 on the 20th. The largest 6.2 total of earthquakes in this area on this map. 243 earthquakes. 243 earthquakes up to today. That's a lot in this area. That is a lot. Okay, so uh, all, these, all of these uh, high threat volcanoes have been shaken. Uh, let's go here. 
And going back to our maps, so that we can see a little bit of this. The, the Gordia Ridge Tectonic Spreading Center, located about 120 miles off the north coast of California and southern Oregon. The ridge is broken into three segments, Northern Ridge Central and Southern Ridge, which contains the Escandaba Trough. This is our area right here, and a few days before we have this area. Now, um, regional settings, the Gordia Ridge runs northeasterly direction, bound by both ends by transformed faults. There they go. At the southern end, the ridge meets the Mendocino Transform Fault. That's where we had our earthquake. It's a fracture zone that transforms boundary over 4,000 kilometers long, starting off the coast of Cape Mendocino in far northern California, running westward from a triple junction with San Andreas Fault and the Cascadia Subduction Zone. Um, to the east is the Gorda Plate. Look at all these uh, earthquakes there. Okay, which together with Juan de Fuca Plate right there to its north is what remains of the once vast Farallon Plate. Oh, we can't see that very well. Let's go back a little bit. The Farallon Plate. There we go. Was an ancient oceanic plate. It formed one of the three main plates of Panthalassa alongside the Phoenix Plate and Izanagi Plate, which were connected by a triple junction. The Farallon Plate began subducting under the west coast of North America, the Mer North American Plate. This is it right here. That's it, going underneath. So these two oceanic plates are currently moving east subducting underneath North American Plate in what is known as the Cascadia Subduction Zone. This is it right here. To the west and south of the ridge is the Pacific Plate, which is currently moving westward, diverging from Gorda Plate. And the divergence of the Pacific Plate and Gorda Plates has led to the creation of Gorda Ridge. This is it right here. It shows you the movements here. Uh, on the Pacific Plate, roughly 50 kilometers west of the northern portion of the ridge, sit eight seamounts. We have eight seamounts underwater volcanoes known as President Jackson Seamounts. There are a series of seamounts located on the Pacific Plate off of California. It consists of eight seamounts, four independent and four morphologically fused, just west of northern Gorda Ridge. They are generally very small and arranged linearly. So right here, we have seamounts right there. The seamounts, a large geologic formation that rises from the ocean floor but that does not reach to the water surface, so they're underwater volcanoes. The sea spreading, the spreading rate, Pacific rate is moving at a speed of five centimeters a year. Juan de Fuca plate, including Gorda plate, moving east, northeast, is subducting under North America at a much slower rate. And due to the ridge being segmented into three distinct parts, each section has its own spreading rate, causing the slab pull and ridge push of the surrounding tectonic plates. The northern segment is the, nor the uh, narrowest with portions as narrow as three kilometers across and has a fastest spreading of 2.9 centimeters a year. The central segment, roughly 10 kilometers, spreading at 2.4 centimeters a year. And southern segment uh, has as wide, as wide as 18 kilometers, the slowest spreading of 1.2 centimeters a year. Seismicity. Due to the Gorda Ridge proximity to the Mendocino Triple Junction, that's where we're having our 6.2 quake, which is pretty big, the area experiences a significant amount of seismicity. The majority of activity is seen in the Gorda Plate. However, some occurs on the ridge itself. Most events are generated by the divergence of the Pacific Plate and Gorda Plate. And since 1983, there have been approximately 80 magnitude 3 earthquakes happening at this location every year. The Axial Valley, Unlike other intermediate spreading centers, the Gorda Ridge has a large rift valley, which is typically seen in areas of slow spreading centers. This is caused by the oceanic crust beneath the ridge being thinner and mantle temperatures being cooler. The Gorda Ridge has an average depth of 3,000 meters, with a few locations reaching 3,500 meters. The walls of the valley are steep, and in most cases giving a vertical relief. The floor of the southern ridge valley 
has been filled in with roughly 1,000 meters of sediment from the continental margin, mostly delivered by turbidity currents. And the central ridge valley contains exposed basalt, and the northern ridge valley has light sediment covering. So the seamounts, we have a tremendous amount of seamounts there as well. Okay. Uh, let's go here. I can think we could see better. We could see them better around here. Okay. And we also have asphalt volcanoes here as well. A methane volcano. Sorry, a methane volcano. A methane under underwater methane uh, release volcanoes. Most of them are on the west coast. We do also have some on the east coast. The east coast has 30 seamounts here, right here, from the Azores and all this the mid-Atlantic ridge. And these are 30 seamounts pointing towards uh, Maine. So that's what's happening there. Very strange, very large quake activity. 6.2 is the latest. All of you there, please be very careful on the west coast because obviously there's a lot of uh, energy building up. It seems that the earthquakes there are getting bigger. Please be alert. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support.